Bonjour, I'm Jean Lalonde, the developer of Quick Access Pop-Up. Welcome to this uh, video uh, on how you can use Quick Access Pop-Up with Directory Opus. In fact, how it can enhance this file manager, Directory Opus. In this video, I will show you, explain to you what is Directory Opus and Quick Access Pop-Up in a few words, then see how you can configure Quick Access Pop-Up to work with Directory Opus, and we'll see various features where the two apps work together. So, Directory Opus, what it is, it's a file manager. It's in fact a replacement for Windows Explorer with a lot of new and additional features. For example, the ability to work with two panes at the same time, so you can easily copy or move file from one folder to the other. You can work with tabs here where you can have various folders being open and making it easy to switch from one to the other. There's a lot of tools available, so there, there's, um, you can really manage your files and your drives uh, with uh, great capabilities using this, uh, this tool. It's not a freeware, you have to buy it, but there is a trial version that you can use to make sure to see if you like it and want to use it. Uh, it's uh, developed by three developers in Australia. Their company is named JP Software and you can download it at gpsoft.com.au. This is for directory opus. Now, quick access pop-up, it's a launcher. In fact, it's something that you can use to make your work easier by having easy access to any of the content or tools that you use uh, while working at your computer. In fact, it's a pop-up menu that you can click by hitting the middle mouse button on your mouse or the Windows W um, shortcut key if you prefer to work with your keyboard. You can change this, these triggers if you want, but these are the default ways. So after you click the middle mouse button, you have a menu where you can select uh, to launch a, win a folder, an application, notepad here for example, um, a document, a PowerPoint file here, a website, so all type of content can be grouped the way you want to do it in this menu. It's highly configurable. By default, I put a few things that everybody has, but we, you will remove these things that you don't use and replace it with the um, items you, you use frequently. There are also lots of dynamic menus that are built automatically by Quick Access Pop-Up to make it for you easier to access your content, your recent, your frequent content, etc. Uh, it's a free tool, it's a freeware, so you can download it at quickaccesspopup.com and if you use it and like it, you can uh, make a donation to support its uh, development. So let's see now how you can uh, set up Quick Access Pop-Up to work with the directory opus. So normally when you uh, pop up the menu and select a folder, it will open this folder in Windows Explorer. But if you configure Quick Access Pop-Up to work with Directory Opus, instead it will use Directory Opus as your preferred file manager. So the first time you launch Quick Access Pop-Up, and just to show it to you, I will restart it to show how it uh, would do it. So uh, let's imagine it's the first time you, in, you launch Quick Access Pop-Up and you have Directory Opus already installed on your computer. So Quick Access Pop-Up will detect it and ask you if you want to enable Directory Opus integration. If you click, ye click yes, from now, when you hit um, a folder inside the menu, this folder will be open inside Directory Opus. In, in, in fact, here on the less left uh, pane uh, in this tab here called Windows. So that's all you have to do to configure Quick Access Pop-Up to work with, um, with Directory Opus. If Directory Opus was, is installed after Quick Access Pop-Up, then uh, you have to configure a Quick Access Pop-Up manually for it to work with uh, Directory Opus. So what you have to do is you open the menu, middle mouse button, you click Settings. The Settings window here is where you manage the content of your menu. So you see the menu here, each of these items are found in this list here, and you can use Add, Edit, Remove, arrows to move contents. That's where you make it work the way you want. But what we want to do now is just to change a configuration. So we go in the options under the file managers tab 
and you see directory opus here is, is selected automatically if you didn't have window um, directory opus before so it will be windows explorer that will be selected that's the default file manager for every users but uh, if you click directory opus it will uh, ask you for the path of the uh, application most probably quick access pop-up will find it automatically but if not if it's not correct you can browse to the folder where is installed your directory opus so that's it to how to configure quick access pop-up to work with director opus so now what can you do when you have quick access pop-up configured that way we've already seen that we can open a folder from anywhere and it will open quick uh, directory opus with this folder what we can also do it also do is change the folder inside a, an existing um, tab so here instead of being in the John users profile I will switch it to go to the my QAP to go to the Windows folder for example or I could go to the my QAP demo now I have it two times but you see that I can change inside um, an existing um, pane and of course I did it on the left side I could do the same thing on the right side and open another folder on this side so um, quick access pop-up will know on which side to change the, the folder so that's an, a second way that you can uh, use this menu to change folder inside an existing lister now what you will want to do is to configure the pop-up menu to with the things you use frequently uh, normally what you would do is you would go here in settings you would click add if you want to add a folder you click folder here continue and then you browse for the folder that you want to add and you give it a name so there's a lot of other options so that's the normal way the most uh, complete way but there's a quicker way to do it when you are already in a folder that you want to add for example here if I go in my clients I'm to my ABC client and I'm frequently working in the files for this client so I want to add it to my menu so all you have to do is make sure that you click inside this pane here and then you select add active folder or web page if I was in a browser it would add a web page but now I'm, I'm in the file manager so it will add the active folder to my menu so automatically it creates a um, favorite of type folder with the path to this folder and it takes the last part of the path to suggest it as a name here and I could change it to ABC file for example and this item is now added to my menu I will use the arrow just to make it a little bit higher in my in my list I will put it here like that whoops like that okay and save it and now let's say that I'm closing it and just oh I want to close it okay and here from the Windows folder I want to move to my ABC client so I select here ABC files and it will change automatically the folder to this new favorite so what you have to remember is that you can add it easily by adding the current uh, folder using add active folder first thing what you can also do if you want to add a folder or a file you can do it using the context menu so for example here I want to add the status report file I can right click on the icon and select here add file to quick access pop-up menu it will create a new favorite of type document with the path to this file and the name suggested here based on the file name you click add and again I will move it to the top there are various ways to change the position of the item I'm using the, the easy way here so uh, status report save and now from anywhere I can I could be another application I open the menu and if I click status report it will open word with the document that I added to my menu so you can add documents like that you could also add folders I right click here on the personal folder and it says add folder to quick access pop-up menu it will add the personal folder with the path here and now I will make it here appear at the top of my or higher here let's say just before ABC files click Save 
and the personal folder is now in my menu where I choose it to be. So that's how you can add items. There are other ways, but these are the most frequent. Uh, so using the add active uh, folder or the um, context menus. Now I showed you how you can change folders you inside the listers of directory opus. What you can also do, and it is uh, according to QAP users, it's the biggest time saver in quick access pop-up is the ability to change folder inside a dialog box, inside, inside a save as or open dialog box. For example, if I open here notepad and I say file open, here it will be displayed in a folder that is normally it's not where you want to open the folder it all you always have to move somewhere else to open or to save your file so let's say for example that i am working here in my project folder here for my client abc and i have a new file i create i'm creating i will want to save it here so for example i'm using notepad but it could be word excel anything else so new doc and I want to save it, so I hit File, Save. And here inside the dialog box, instead of having to go up and down and move in my directory structure and search for the folder where I want to go, uh, what I can do here is to select a folder inside my menu. If, if I wanted to save it in the personal folder, I could select Personal here and it would be changed automatically to this folder and now I can save it. But what is more interesting uh, still is the ability to change to the folder that you were working on when you were in your lister and when you were in directory opus. And you can change to this folder automatically by using this option here under My QAP Essentials. Here is a list of very useful feature. One of these is reopen current folder in dialog box. So it will reopen in this uh, save as dialog box the folder that is active in directory opus. So let's check it. Yes, it's taking me to the project ABC and I will just save it as a test file, close it. And here in my ABC project uh, folder, I have this new file. So it's been done really easily. All you have to make sure is that you uh, save, you, you, save you, you make sure the, the folder where you want to save it is active. So normally you work in something, let's say I'm going to work here in, for my ACME client. And let's say I reopen this file, I want to save it as in the, the other folder. I will just hit now Shift Control C, that's a shortcut because I'm using, every, using it every day. So it's easy for me to, to, um, to uh, go to the folder using the shortcut. I just forgot the active folder here is on the left side, so it's project ABC. I want to save it, so I, I worked here in my Acme client folder. So that's the active one. Now it will, when I hit Shift Control C, it will change this to the uh, Acme folder. And I will call it test Acme. And now I have this file automatically saved in this folder here. So it's another way to where quick access pop-up will interact with, with directory opus to detect what is the current lister and the current folder in a directory opus. Okay, so we've seen most of what I wanted to show you. The last thing I want to show you is the integration with the directory opus favorites menu. It's something new at quick access pop-up. It's been introduced in version 9.3. So you have to make sure you have the uh, recent version for this. And what it will do, you know that in quick access in the directory opus, you can manage favorites here. You can add items uh, to this menu. You, there is the same button here when you can go to a given folder oh this one has been changed i changed the name sorry for that this one is not working but i could use here sub menu downloads it will take me to the download folder automatically what is interesting uh, now with quick access pop-up is that is that it will take this these items here and add them to your quick access pop-up menu so when you click here you will see these item in this menu it's not there yet but if you use the automatic integration that i showed you at the beginning this item would be here at the end of the menu but now i will add it manually you will see how it's done so i will put it here between these two lines, I click add. 
This is a QAP feature. There's a lot of QAP features that you can find here that are grouped by categories. And under the dynamic menus category, there is here directory opus favorites that I can add, save. And from now on, when I open my quick access pop-up menu, I will have this item here with all the content that you added to your directory opus favorites menu. So the advantage is that it's now available from anywhere. I can be here on my desktop. I don't, don't have to go to directory opus to open this item. I can now go to my download folder here directly from any uh, location on any window uh, on my computer. So that's what you can do with Quick Access Pop-Up. I hope you will find it interesting to try it and see how it can enhance your usage of directory opus. I thank you for your attention and hope to see you on quickaccesspopup.com. And don't forget, there is a second video that will show more advanced features shortly. Thank you.